construction work often involves temporary and changing workplaces different work activities presents a significant risk of fire and explosion similarly the maintenance work is it may require to work with flammable liquids or to carry out hot work which are not part of the routine activities both the construction activities and the maintenance work are potentially hazardous and there is always high risk of fire and explosion we'll discuss about the special consideration those are required for the construction and maintenance work by the application of these considerations we can easily avoid or prevent fire and explosion risk to a greater extent you are on the platform of safety for life so let's get started point number 1 site storage of flammable and combustible material such as wood and other combustibles stored on site for refurbishment work solvent based adhesives used to lay floor coverings paints and other flammables fuels such as petrol diesel acetylene and lpg cylinders and lastly bitumen boilers which could be left unattended dear friends and colleagues while storing the flammables and combustibles you have to consider the instructions and recommendations mentioned in safety data sheet and you have to comply with all these instructions if you like to avoid the risk of fire or explosion in your workplace point number 2 waste disposal since the building sites generate large amounts of combustible waste material such as wood and other fabrication materials solvent soaked rags empty solvent containers and fuel cylinders unless this rubbish is cleared away regularly it will accumulate and present a fire risk either accidentally or through arson so this is also the important reason or in short if the waste is not managed properly efficiently and safely there is a high risk of fire and explosion in your workplace so you have to apply waste management strategy point number 3 demolition dear friends and colleagues the fire risks arising from dismantling and removing tanks and pipes containing flammable residues and also from the severing of buried gas services if you will not address dismantling and removing of tanks or pipes those are containing flammable residues there is a high chance of fire and explosion in the process of demolition point number 4 oxy fuel equipment that is used in welding and flame cutting with acetylene and propane as fuels what you have to consider leaks of flammable gas from damaged hoses fires can start from grease contamination of the oxygen cylinder or ignition of nearby flammables and combustibles so while using oxy fuel equipment you have to consider the safety precautions and you have to apply permit to work system point number 5 temporary electrical insulations may not be of sufficient capacity for their intended use now be suitable for the harsh environment of a construction site particularly problems can arise from point number 1 use of flat twin and earth cable designed for use in fixed insulations instead of flex for extension leads number 
overloading of sockets number 3 deliberate defeating of safety devices number 4 poor routing of cables with increased risk of damage number 5 using makeshift connections to join cables rather than proper connectors in the construction work you cannot avoid temporary electrical insulations but make sure you are considering all these points routing defeating of safety devices overloading of sockets and instead of using makeshift connections you will use connectors in this way you can easily avoid the risk of fire and explosion with regards to temporary electrical insulations on your work site dear friends and colleagues you are watching safety first life and today we are discussing about fire risks in construction and maintenance work how we can avoid the risk of fire and explosion as i told you oxy acetylene welding is a routine matter activity in construction maintenance work or in demolition if not controlled it is hazardous so let us understand what precautionary measures are required to carry out oxy acetylene welding in a safe way at your work site then you have to memorize few important points point number 1 user checks on equipment before starting point number 2 use of regulators to the appropriate standard point number 3 using hoses that are as short as possible point number 4 using color coded hoses point number 5 fitting the torch unit with non return walls point number 6 fitting flash bag arrestors to the outlets of the regulators point number 7 using crimped hose connections and not jubilee clips point number 8 ensuring that the cylinders are not heated by the flame or by stray ox from adjacent electrical equipment point number 9 minimizing the amount of combustible material in the area of the welding operation point number 10 closing cylinders at the wall when not in use point number 11 using trained and competent staff and the point number 12 storing acetylene and oxygen cylinders upright in a well ventilated area and away from sources of heat and sparks you can consider all these points once the welding operation is ongoing at your workshop or at the work site you can make a checklist how you can avoid or prevent the risk of fire and explosion while using oxy acetylene equipment and during the process of oxy acetylene welding dear friends and colleagues i would like to summarize the presentation only in few points how we can avoid or prevent fire risk in construction and maintenance work point number 1 soft piling of combustible materials point number 2 accumulation of combustible rubbish overfilling of skips point number 3 increase in the amount of materials stored such as paints solvents and adhesives point number 4 work processes producing ignitable dusts are use of volatile materials such as lpg or acetylene point number 5 temporary electrical insulations with exposed cabling point number 6 insufficient security leading to an increased risk of arson point number 7 work interfering with the integrity of compartmentation within the building and point number 9 use of transient contractors not fully aware of the fire hazards and the building these are the points issues or elements that may lead to a potential fire or explosion at your work site if you are able to control and implement safety measures against each point there is a minimal chances of fire and explosion 
once you are at your work site stay alert try to identify all potential hazards and implement workable safety controls against each hazard this is the way how you can avoid the risk of fire and explosion and you can keep your site safe secure and productive and that's all for now